Hi, I'm Wendy with Learning Resources. Let's take a look at hands-on standards, photo illustrated lessons for teaching with math manipulatives. It's a professional handbook series for classroom teachers or even for math specialists. There are four books in the series just based on grade level, grades pre-K, K, grades 1, 2, grades 3, 4, and grades 5, 6. All the lessons are closely tied to the NCTM standards, which then of course align with your state standards. As you can see, there's a lot of coverage here across the five different math strands, as well as across all the individual math skills. The books really utilize manipulatives that you probably already have in your classroom but may just not be using. There are kits of materials, the manipulatives available for purchase to go along with the books, but you probably have many of these manipulatives already. The lessons truly engage students through the hands-on multisensory activities and they help kids just really get the concepts that sometimes are so abstract for children. All right, so let's take a look at one of the actual activities, or one of the lessons. This is for grades three to four. It's a lesson on the associative property of addition. The lesson format is very simple. It's a two-page format. The left-hand side of the page introduces the lesson and extends it and assesses it. The right-hand side of the page is the step in the middle, which is the true hands-on portion, and it also has an assessment piece. So let me take you through the lesson. On the left, you'll see the typical things that you expect to see in a lesson plan, the objective, the skills, but what you also get is a very explicit alignment to the correlations right here, so you know that you're on target. The top of the page, right underneath the title, you see the background information for the lesson, so you can study up if you need to ahead of time. As I mentioned before, these lessons are really for the mainstream classroom teacher who wants to become more comfortable teaching mathematics, so you get that um, background knowledge right there at your disposal. Next, you follow the yellow arrow to the right-hand side of the page, and students will be working in small groups to solve a real-life story problem. That's right here at the top. The steps for the activity are um, explained here, one, two, three. But what I love is that you see a photo illustration of exactly what the student should be doing in each step. And they are using a black line master. Let me show you a close-up of what that looks like in this case. It's a graphic organizer. And this Black Line Master is key because you can also use it to assess the student's progress. One of my favorite features is the look out part, right here on the right page at the bottom. This is kind of a look inside of a student's mind. It helps you anticipate any trouble spots that the child might have and um, gives you hints on how to uh, help the student overcome those problems. Okay. So after the students have worked in a small group using the Cuisinaire rods, you move back to the left-hand side of the lesson as the teacher, and you're going to pull the students together as a large group, and you're going to talk about the activity, out about each step, and then you're going to discuss the solution. That's here in the solve it part. Next, you're going to extend the activity. Those are the more ideas. And then lastly, there will be standardized practice. There's a question here very similar to what a student might see on a standardized test. And the kids can um, use their manipulative, but also transition away from the manipulative to just using pencil and paper to help be better prepared for the test. So you have a second record of assessment. 